Here we have a malfunctioning railroad crossing bell that kind of decides its own ring right. I ended up picking up a mechanical bell. It's all I had at this point in time. I didn't find any other electronic bells suitable for being placed up on the uh, crossing signals out here, but uh, it'll work until I find another one. I really like the ones that are volume adjustable because uh, there's a Garden Railroad, you can see it right here, where uh, they run their model trains and everything, and they don't really like it to be uh, super loud over there and it really is they're right by these crossing gates and when they're down for a long period of time it causes a lot of noise and disruption so it's kind of why i'm reducing the volume on the bells out here but anyways i'm going to bring my ladder off and uh, get set up at the crossing and replace the faulty bell here's the faulty bell i'm going to be replacing there is the bell that I'm going to be installing. There's my voltmeter. I'm going to have to tap into the signal base, make sure that it is correct voltage going up to the bell. And that's not the reason as to why it is uh, failing. And then of course my terminal wrench and the adjustable wrench I like to use for the crossing bells because one fits all. I like to minimize the amount of tools I like to take up with me. Of course, there's the ladder so I can get up to the bell. Right here on this side, on these three terminals, is the bell control. I'm going to activate the bell real quick and test voltage on it, make sure that it is getting around 12 volts. Okay, I'm getting a good reading on the terminals going to the bell, so it's definitely getting enough voltage. It's just one of the uh, variable resistors in it that are going bad, so I'm just going to replace it with this bell, and the current voltage is within the range that this bell can operate on, so I should have no issues there. Some of you might be wondering how I actually activated the crossing bell. I used this center contact. When it closes, it turns on the bell, but to hold it closed, I actually used the uh, terminal wrench and closed in the circuit. And right now the bell is working just fine, but I don't trust it enough to keep on operating the way it should. So I'm just going to uh, replace it.